and it's streaming live. Hi Fun and Coffee and uh, welcome to this Friday's edition of the Friday Wrap. We're going to do the Friday with Dan, our Coffee with Dan. I've got a guest with me today, is Etienne from Deposit Shore. Good morning everyone. So today's coffee is actually Turkish coffee. Uh, now for you guys who haven't seen it before, it is a little bit done a little bit different. Um, the uh, the coffee isn't filtered for anything, and the hot sand. Um, what would you, you call it? Melts the coffee, or? Uh, sorry, what was that? The the, co- the hot sand does it melt the coffee? So or? it's just the cooking method. The hot sand mm-hmm. it c- cooks the coffee in there. Yep. And uh, which is totally a little bit different from the traditional coffee uh, that people here are used to. Yeah. So what goes in? So I thought I'd introduce the audience to like a uh, different type of coffee uh, this week and uh, Turkish coffee is the way it is. So while that's been made, the hot sand will um, melt the coffee or what would you call it melt? Or what, what, how would you call it? I think so. And does this coffee also uh, predict your fortune as well? Uh, yeah, we can read it sometimes, but uh, I don't do it. So I don't know how to do it. <laughs> like, can we, can we do usually. It is, do it is a tradition. Can we do one for the end here? Uh, yeah, but I, I don't know how to read it. Uh, so, what, what, what? you're going to read it? Okay, yeah. so, what are you going to say, man? Uh, oh, keep going. Sorry. I was trying to spin the, uh, the coffee So, I'll around. read your, uh, your, your, uh, your fortune if you Okay, like. just because it's uh, Chinese New Year. Thank you. What do you, what do you think my fortune is? Well, we'll see. We've got to tip it upside down. And, Have uh, you uh, read anyone's coffee before? Pardon? Have you read anyone's coffee before? Uh, no, I haven't, but okay. there's always a first. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Okay, so I, I didn't realise that you could actually read coffee from this, oh, so look, what do you do? Uh, oh, we'll give it a go, we'll, we'll have a look at the patterns and we'll just see uh, what, it, what it looks like uh, there. I've had it read to me before. So you have to flip the coffee and wait for it to kind of um, settle, mm-hmm. and then you'll see some patterns happening and that's oh. the way we read it. Oh, there you go, I did not know that. Uh, just for the audience's uh, information, this is we're actually in Vic Market, so... Um, and for, for you guys listening outside of Melbourne, uh, Victoria Market is pretty much a go-to place to come to. But mo- most people don't even know that uh, this little gym exists here. Um, everyone's just racing around for the lattes or flat whites. But uh, you know what? Um, liquefied Turkish coffee or traditional coffee made the same way is a fantastic way to have coffee. It looks really good. It looks excellent. And that Turkish delight, just to top it all off, is... Indeed. Do um, you put sugar in it? Do you mind me asking? Uh, up to you if you like sugar. Okay, in okay. It. but it, it. I have added some. Though. Added some. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> it's it, it's pretty strong too, right? It is, yeah. yeah. So would you uh, would you say um, ideally you don't have too many a day? Uh, yeah, I, I don't recommend too much of this, <laughs> especially before bed. <laughs> uh, and this will put hairs on your chest, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah and I've been trying that for a long time. It's not working. That's what I thought, mate. Yeah. This is the way to start. Okay, thank you so That's much. That's what it looks like. There you go. Well, there you go, audience. Um, you know, I'll get yeah, for thank me. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we're going to slowly go back to the table and then we'll have that usual Friday wrap chat. Um, but Etienne, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome, um, So we're going to awkwardly, this is my microphone hopefully you guys are okay i don't think i've seen any messages from you guys to say you know uh the sound is bad uh, always some technical difficulties i had a, another camera ready uh again didn't work it's okay technology mate it's uh love hate relationship <laughs> anyway okay so let's um quickly um you, you are etienne you are the owner, director? Yeah, yeah, co-founder Deposit Assure in terms of deposit bonds based in uh, in Melbourne. Okay. So, now, now just talk to me like I'm a complete idiot noob. Uh, what is a deposit bond? What is a deposit bond? Well, uh, many of you in the audience will, will know what they, what they are. Um, they're used as a, uh, a replacement for a cash deposit when, uh, you know, home buyers are looking to exchange on a property. And most commonly, they may not have access to that cash today. Mm. Maybe buying and selling, mm-hmm. for example, and cash locked away in the equity of their home. And we are a, a give an insurance policy or a guarantee for the purchaser to exchange on the property now. And the main benefit is paying the deposit later at settlement. So it's a promissory note, basically, that the money will be ready at settlement. Correct. So it's okay. bridging that gap. Yep. Um, so that was a quick spill. That was a quick 
thing. Nice yeah. and quick. Nice and quick. So let's uh, let's get on and, and try this, try this beautiful to uh, yeah, Turkish yeah, coffee. To okay, so um, oh, I'm, I'm awkwardly holding the camera. <laughs> and I'll try this. And help you. Can you open? Can you open that? So we'll open this up. Okay. So. And uh, be careful of this table. It's a little bit wobbly. That looks awfully strong, mate. Eh? So um. So, do you so want me to hold the microphone for you while you try that first, or the. Actually, you, why don't you try it? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You know what? I don't care. Let's let's let's, let's, let's do that. Okay. okay. So uh, we just try it. I think and in then, Turkish uh, they say sherefe. Sure. So let's get into the Turkish thing. So sherefe. Sherefe, everyone. Okay, I think I've, I've got too much sugar in here, but it's, it's really nice. Me, but it's nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Are you supposed to drink the whole thing there, or is it drink like it? Okay. <laughs> There it is. It's a very small shot. It's a bit grain, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But then you get. Yeah, I guess you'd expect that simply because um, it's not filtered through, isn't it? It's meant the, the the coffee itself is um, liquefied um, into this beautiful, um, rich body drink. Really, it's and pleasant. it is strong. Very strong. So, hmm. so do, do we uh, Turkish delight? I don't know. Do we I eat think, that separately? I is think that just the, a, a sweetener? I would take it at the end personally, just to. Okay. Uh, change the palette okay well while we um continue this conversation and and, and um i suppose as we drink i'm sorry i'm moving this around weirdly um i guess this week has been sort of uneventful um we had a ceo of one bank going over to another bank which was news um we've also um i mean uh, i guess the thing to come to my mind recently is regards to the first homeowner's deposit scheme. Um, uh, how do I put it? I, I, I said it as a blatant little comment the other day, which I'm not sure if um, any of you guys saw it. Um, but I think it's kind of like a, a real life version of clickbait, um, simply because it's, it's giving brokers, banks, and so forth an opportunity to go out there and get. Uh, customers to register. What's your opinion? Oh, it's, it's opinion only, so it's not a. Oh, look! I think um, we thought long and hard whether to sort of promote how a deposit bond could assist first home buyers with this scheme. However, I think the way it looked like, I wasn't sure many brokers were going to get access to it. I think uh, when I looked at this late last year. Uh, and my views are still the same. I don't think I've seen one come across our desk. Um, however, at the end of the day, we do see a lot of bonds for first home buyers. You know, first home buyers who maybe don't have enough savings uh, at hand um, to exchange. A lot of them getting a family pledge loan. And I think that's where we see most of our volume with family, uh, mm. with, with deposit bonds for first home buyers. Okay, so now talk to me like I'm an idiot again. Yes. Um, family pledge bond, uh, loans, because some banks bought different things. Um, in so, general, if you, if you were a, not a broker and you're the general public, what's a family pledge loan? So, you know, a, a lot of the time, uh, first home buyers who want to get into the market in order to avoid LMI, they often go down the path of leveraging the equity in, their, in the home of their mum and dad mm -hmm. in, in terms of uh, achieving that deposit uh, for that loan. And uh, many times, it's, it's a lot easier, I think, if you put yourself in the, in the audience uh, shoes as a first home buyer it's easier to ask mum and dad to help leverage the equity in their home, but it's a lot harder to say, listen, I'm also short 20 grand. Uh, can you loan me $20,000? Um, so I think that's where a, a deposit bond can come in. It can make it easier for the first home buyer to say, listen, I've got a finance approval. Uh, it's formally approved, and I just need to exchange on this property, and a bond can be issued on the back of that approval letter. And that's where we see most of that opportunities because it isn't easy to go and ask mum and dad for support right. from a cash perspective. Thank you very much. That was a nice, smooth conversation there. <laughs> I tend to um, speak fast. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit nervous. Maybe it's the sometimes. coffee. Maybe it's Maybe coffee. it's because you've downed like three quarters of it in what, a while, while you're talking. Because yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can, I suppose you can call it. Then, and plus you can read my fortune. It's not that easy. It's sort of. It's getting it's thicker. Just, yeah. I may note it's getting thicker. So mm. if you want me to read your fortune, mm. make sure you leave the last layer. The last layer. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to try and do it right now. Oh. It, that is very thick at the end down there. So my mic. 
Okay, so I don't think I'll drink anymore because that just... It, I'm not sure if the audience can see it, but it's it's more... It's wet coffee. Well, I think you probably need to drink a little bit more, otherwise it's all going to flow out when we tip it upside down. Ah, right, okay. And I'm sure you've got some Turkish people in the audience who can probably read... Is that fortunate. enough drinking or should I, should I get a bit, a bit more? A little bit more. And now you've got to turn it upside down for 20 seconds. Ah, I'm not sure that the audience can see that. Sorry, pretty gross. It's very but sandy. It is very sandy at the end here. Okay, so um, tip it upside down. Tip it upside down. And well, there you go. When it's live on TV, anything can happen now. Okay. <clears throat> so... I read somewhere that um, even though it's traditional Turkish coffee, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe, um, sorry Rachel, <laughs> I believe that uh, the, um, the Greeks also have co to, to, um, coffee in this manner. From what I understand, I think there's very, uh, they're very similar, mm -hmm. uh, without getting into uh, uh, too many political uh, uh, discussions about it, but I, I think it's quite similar. I've had both. Yes. Uh, and they are very sort of thick and grainy, and um, and I think you can read the fortune on both. Okay. Well, um, from what I understand. So it's, it's 20 seconds down. Shall we? Uh, shall we try? Let's try yours. Okay. Let's see what we look at. So uh, not that I'm qualified at all to understand that, but but uh, judging by this, I think you're uh, you are heading to some turbulent times uh, in your life. Um, even potentially a career change uh, down the track. Uh, Family-wise, all secure. You've got a lovely family. They're all very healthy. Uh, but financially, you're going to come up into some big money at the end of 2020. Um, and also, your membership base uh, is going to grow <laughs> to about 20,000 by 2021. You know, uh, that's, that's almost impossible because there's not 20,000 brokers out there. Oh, well, there is assistance and, uh, and, and other industries, related industries, that, uh, that you could target, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, mate. Uh, okay, well, I can't read. Uh, Let's have a look at... Uh... Okay, so uh, would you like to read mine? I'm not going to try because uh, I, I, I have no idea that you could actually read fortunes in the first place. Sorry. Oh, look, there's a message from Anne-Marie. Uh, so I made a mistake of drinking Turkish coffee for dinner once. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's very it's very strong, but I don't know if it's stronger than your traditional espresso that I make at home. Like, it feels... I mean, it's thick, right? It's, mm, it is definitely thick. Uh, and it's a nice, pleasant aftertaste. I'm, I'm just wondering whether this this is um, a... You know, you know how, say, well, I call it watered down, but that's probably not the right word. It's just, you know, when traditional food, you water it down yeah. in a way for the audience that you're trying to sell to. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just usually stronger than this. But anyway. But you wouldn't drink it every day, would you? I no, well, I mean, I, I tend to have, what, four meetings a day. I usually I could have, have coffee. once in a while, I reckon, and uh, maybe with a nice uh, yeah. sambuca or a grappa would go nice as an after sort of... Mm -hmm to just wash it all down there you go well um, hmm. there you go guys um, well that that concludes today's little um, Great. coffee with Dan moment um, thank you for the, uh, the the responses from the audience there in terms of just wanting to catch up um, and try something different other than a soy latte and a flat white um, so uh, Turkish coffee is the one uh, for today um, let me know what you think. Um, the location for this one, anyway, particular store, is actually in the lovely uh, Victoria Market here in Melbourne. Um, I'm pretty sure there's others around, but I thought this was a good one because it's it close to the CBD. Thank you, Etienne, for coming. Very welcome. Lovely to be here, and uh, thanks for your support. Yeah, that's about it. So, um, guys, thank you. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll go from there.